plan A was likely start a company again. Plan B was maybe do some advising and consulting. Plan C was maybe join a startup. Plan D was maybe join a big company. And nowhere on those list of plans that I have, make a living off writing a newsletter. But what started happening is I first started collecting my thoughts of what I learned at Airbnb and things they've done in the past, just so that I don't have to relearn them when I start a company. So I put out a Medium post and that did shockingly well. And then I put out a few more Medium posts and those did well. And then somebody suggested I switch to Substack to the classic reasons to have your own newsletter to own your audience, to not give all the benefits of Medium. And that just kept going well. And it was always a side project that everyone around me was like, okay, stop this writing thing you're doing. And if you really want to do a startup, you should really focus on that. And you're spending so much time writing. What are you doing? But I just kept doing it because it was interesting and fun and people seemed to value it. I had a good conversation with a friend maybe six months into it. And his advice was, okay, this seems to be working well. People seem to value it. You seem to enjoy it. Maybe just try that for a little while longer and don't put all this pressure on yourself to start a company now. So I did that and it just kept growing. And eventually this year, actually around beginnings of COVID, it was like a year since I left my job. I had no income. I didn't know what I was going to do. All my stock is down. I didn't know how I was going to make money again. And so I decided, let me try this paid version of the newsletter. And that kind of took things to the next level. Now we're here where I'm making a lot more than I made at Airbnb. And I don't have any future plans beyond this.